Hi, this is LJ Boffel, and this is a short video for Business Technology 293 Microsoft Outlook 2013. We'll do a quick overview of what to expect from our course book and our assignments. The first one I'm going to do is just get into the web. On Amazon, I've got a picture here of what our book looks like. We are using Microsoft Outlook 2013. January um, 30th, 2014 edition by Denise Seguin. Essentially, it's a fairly large book. It's basically a workbook. So in the book, you'll have a variety of chapters. We have six chapters and one introduction. Each chapter will have some reading and a bunch of exercises to do. And then um, you will have some assessments at the end. What's going to happen, and you will have already looked at our overall demo on how Canvas works, but let's take a look at how the assignments work. I'm going to take a quick look at week one, the introduction, and you'll notice what week, day of the week that it starts. And what you will be looking for in your weekly modules will be week number exercises and also week number assignment. So, for instance, for week one, we actually just have one series of exercises from the book and then a quiz and a discussion introduction, which you will learn more about on your own. Starting in week two, we will have an average of one uh, section for the exercises you do in the book, and you'll get some points for those, even though they are basically the workbook learning materials as you read and get familiar with the Outlook 2013 program. And then you'll actually have an assignment, and that assignment will ask for some very specific information from assessments in the back of the chapter. Let's take a look at this one here. Normally when I'm in Canvas, I tend to right click on the title that I want to open up and open link in a new tab so that way I don't lose where I was. And this is what you should be expecting to see in your assignments. You'll notice down here I am an instructor and I'm currently logged into Student View. You won't usually see this little box down here, but this is essentially what you will see in the assignment. You will see what it's called, You'll see how many points it's worth. You'll get a bit of a summary here, the due date. Note that the due dates will usually be Sunday nights before midnight, so you always want to get your uploads done well before midnight. It's worth five points, and there will be a file upload. And then this lets you know the availability of the assignment. So in this case, this assignment will be available until January 17th. The objective of the assignment will be gain working knowledge of Outlook by adding a profile image and your demonstration of proof will be one screenshot. Now what does that mean? You're actually going to be doing tasks in the book, uh, following a variety of steps, looking at how the screen looks, creating files, folders, all sorts of things throughout this quarter. However, for me to evaluate your work, what I'm going to have you do is, as you finish a task, you will take a screenshot of it, and you will put that screenshot of a task in a document template I'm going to give you. Several of your assignments will end up requesting six, eight, nine, several different screenshots. And this is how you're going to go about doing that. So first, each of these assignments will have a link. This Microsoft Word document template. I'm going to click it and it should download depending on which browser you're using. It may ask to actually open it in Microsoft Word or to download it. I'm currently in Google Chrome. I am going to open the file and it's going to open in Microsoft Word. Now in Microsoft Word, the current versions, 2013, 2016, documents that come from the web will always be locked and you have to look at this yellow bar and choose to enable editing in order to work with it. Then this is what your document template will look like. Now what you want to do is go back and look at our assignment and see if I tell you what to do with it. So for instance, you're going to be saving any work you do for me, the screenshots and the captions for those screenshots on your computer, your USB flash drive, a cloud storage space, whatever you choose. And you should save it under the title I give you. In this case, exercises intro, your last name dot docx. What does that mean? If I come over here, sorry, 
I'm going to go File, Save As, and I'm going to go into my computer. I say I have a BizTech 293, and I'm going to go in and make sure I have an Assignments folder. And what I'm going to do is, what did I say I wanted to call that? I want to call it Exercises Intro Your Last Name. I'm extremely lazy, so I'm just going to copy and paste this over here. But note that you don't actually leave it reading your last name. You put your own last name in. So mine would be Exercises Intro Bothell.docx. Save. And when I'm done, you can see the title up here. The next thing you're going to want to do with this template is, you know, put your first and last name up here. Lisa Bothell. Then you're going to note what week you're working on, what chapter, or what the title of the assignment is, and what you're calling the screenshot. So for instance, this is for week one. Week one exercises. So week one exercises. So I'm going to get rid of the slash assignment here. Then I need to come back over here and look at what we're doing. We are looking at the book's introduction. So I'm going to come back over here. Introduction. Exercise. And then I'm going to look in here, complete the three chapter tasks in adding a picture to your account profile. Take a screenshot of the final result of the Microsoft account profile task. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this and I'm going to just say it's basically exercise one. And then I'm going to paste in here the screenshot caption, which is the Microsoft account profile. Ah, I just hit enter and this basically turned this into formal numbering. So I'm going to undo this because I don't really want that to be formally numbered. So let's make sure we don't have this that way. And we move this back so it looks nice. Now the thing you're going to be doing is taking a screenshot for me. Now I'm not actually going to do the assignment for you and show you the specific screenshot. But essentially what you're going to be doing is when you're in your book, and this is kind of a slightly blurry example of the page book of the book with exercise one. This particular exercise is asking you to look at different things. This is from a specific chapter. And in this particular case, this exercise does not ask you to actually print anything out for your uh, uh, your instructor. So in this case, what you're going to do is take a screenshot of whatever the last step it is that you do before the book tells you to revert back to whatever. Other exercises will actually say do these various steps and then print out a copy for your instructor. However, you will never ever print out copies for me. Instead, you will take a screenshot. So say this is what we want to take a screenshot of. The way you do that, you use your keyboard. And each keyboard's a little different, but normally somewhere in the top row of your keys on your keyboard, your laptop or your desktop, there should be a key that reads Print Skr, which is short for print screen. You would click that and it would load up this picture of the entire screen. So I'm going to coming over here and now I want to paste it. So I'm going to now go in and paste and there's my screenshot. Now here's the thing I'm going to show you how to make this look a little nicer. Right now you've got a lot of stuff happening on the screen, but I can't actually see it very well. So while you're in Word and while you've clicked on your screenshot, note how up here you can see Picture Tools Format. You want to click this, click Crop, and see these heavy little lines? You can actually crop what you give me so that I see the meat of your work or what I need to see. I'll just leave that up there and I'll scroll down here and make this a little shorter. Then once you've done that dragging and you see this great background, click away and there's your screenshot. Now there's room on your page to make it a little bit bigger so it's easier for me to see. So you could do this and you can center it and all is good. So essentially what you're doing in your assignment 
template is you're putting your name at the top, you're noting what week and whether you're doing exercises or assignments, then you're noting what the chapter is, or what the number of the exercise is, and what the screenshot specifically going to be, which is basically the name of the exercise. So if I were actually doing this particular exercise, the, this particular caption would be viewing folder contents. Now in this particular case, you have no more screenshots for this first one, so I'm going to delete the rest of this. I'm going to save the document, then I'm going to close it. The next thing you would do is, after you've personalized everything, you've followed the instructions, you will upload this assignment here. And you will do that by submitting assignment. You will submit. You will be given the opportunity to load a file in here. So what you're doing in file upload is you go choose the file that's on your computer. And I have to go look. I basically saved mine here in BT293 assignments. Here is my assignment. I will click open. Notice the name of my file shows up here. I could just, you know, hi, LJ. Or you could put a comment in here like you had a, a question or a concern. And then you submit the assignment. Now when the assignment is completed, you'll scroll back up to the top of your assignment page and you have submission turned in and the date. I will get to download your assignment to look at it. And the other thing you need to know is if you realize that maybe you didn't complete it or you want to make a change, you can resubmit the assignment up until the due date. So essentially that's it.